here and I'm back with the 11th episode of Camp Camp Mind Freakers. So we last um, left off on a heartwarming story about a, I said heartwarming, there might be an actual episode in Camp Camp about a heartwarming, for all we know, it's already on acid, heartwarming story about um, a sociopathic bully with an endless supply of knives. And now we're on an episode called Mind Freakers, so I can only imagine what this is going to be about. That was me just throwing wine everywhere. Let's go ahead and get that started. So, Nikki, was this your car? The answer is simple. It's magic. Ta-da. Huh, of course. It makes perfect sense. Now we're a magic kids episode. Hey, space kids. What's going on? Harrison is doing magic. He's incredible. Magic? Come on, space kid. I expected better from you. There's no such thing as magic. Don't you say that, Neil. Just because you don't believe. It's okay, Nikki. Neil just doesn't want his mind freaked by my powers. Sure, Harrison, that's it. It's certainly not because I believe in the fundamental laws of everything in existence, which goes against even the slightest chance of magic even being possible. Then how do you explain this? Huh, I've got money ears. Sleight of hand. The quarter is up your sleeve, and the movement of your hand covers up the coin coming out. <gasps> I guess that's one way to do it, but that certainly doesn't answer how these rings link together so effortlessly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Neil, explain that. Trick rings sold specifically for the purpose of that illusion. They're on Amazon for twelve ninety five. Get wrecked, Harrison. Why don't you do a real magic trick if you're so good? So, you want a real trick? Okay, then, Neil. I'll perform the greatest trick of all. How about this? Abracadabra! Amazing, Harrison. Come on, Neil. Okay. Let's get the fuck up. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Max, are you okay? <laughs> that doesn't look okay. <laughs> that looks painful. <sighs> what did you do to me? How did that oh, even fit? This is the Africa owned, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it would have been even better if it had happened to Neil as I intended. But you get the idea. Magic. At least he admits he I makes did mistakes. I feel okay. Whatever. Wasn't that cool? What's the matter, Neil? Did I freak your mind? Please. That was lame. So I don't know how you did it. Big deal. Not like I'm gonna lose sleep over it. Uh, he totally lost sleep over it. Oh. It makes such total sense, though, that uh, Nikki and Neil would be on opposing sides for this. And this is very loud, so I'll put it down a little bit. But yeah, it makes perfect sense that he and Nikki would be at odds on this one. Oh, good. You're awake. Neil. Damn, Neil. I was just thinking about that trick that Harrison did yesterday. Not that I care about it, but I'm this close to figuring it I out. I have that coffee pot. Know, at what point did he surgically insert the handkerchief and wrap it into your stomach? Were you awake for it, or did he put you under? I, I don't want to talk about it. A better question right, would right. be, and what is that no coffee pot plugged into? It's just a stupid trick, after all, but it works to me as if the math just isn't there, you know? <laughs> uh, Max Look, is still I don't know sick. what happened. I just, I'm going to go get some breakfast before this scars me for life. <laughs> Mm. No, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, I'm about to figure it out anyway, you know, even if I wanted to spend more time on it. Which I don't, because I don't care. Amazing! Do it again, Harrison! Uh, 
Here we go. Well, this isn't really how the trick is supposed to work. I don't care. This is awesome. The milk goes right through it. How? It's supposed That's to. That's kind of just like normal physics. Oh, now you're confined by the laws of physics. I thought it was <gasps> magic. Ta-da! Oh, Neil. Magic only works for those who believe in it. Like my new apprentice, Nikki, for example. Yeah, I believe. Cut me in half. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <gasps> Did he think he knew his tricks? Uh, yeah, he said he would. I wanted to learn about a cadaver, but he said it was forbidden or some junk. But I'm learning some curious stuff. Check it out. Pick a card. <sighs> Look, Nikki. You gotta get Harrison to teach you how to do that trick. But I thought you said it was dumb. Forget what I said. I know he trusts you. There's gotta be something simple I'm missing. Okay, Neil. I've got you, fam. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Get some sleep. Yeah. Hey, Max. Oh, hey, Neil. Can you believe that, kid? How does Harrison have the gall to do something so hurtful, you know? Yeah, it's kind of shitty. I feel it's like he doesn't even care how this affects me. You? Yeah. Really, dude? Don't be so selfish. Hey, you gonna eat that? Also, uh, that breakfast no, looks delicious. Out, Just wait. I totally see. approve of pancakes so, and bacon. How's your day going? And oranges. <clears throat> I um, I'm gonna go sit in the shower for a while. Oh, poor Max. Bye, Max. Neil, I'm back, and I have some great news. Nikki, did you the trick? Did he reveal his secret, masked magician style? No, but he did say that if I keep training, I could get a cool top hat like his. Nikki, you're supposed to get him to teach you. I know, but Harrison says that trick is only for a level four magician. He also said something about it being easy to figure out if you're smart enough anyway. Ooh. Excuse me? It's okay, Neil. I'm not smart enough either. We can be What if they're both together. playing him? <laughs> well, if he thinks it's so easy, I guess we might as well try it. You wanna learn magic, Nikki? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. No, well, no, consider no, no, yourself no. my apprentice now. This will I go badly. Know. There's still so much I need to learn. I gotta reach level four, and I haven't even been sorted into a house yet. Okay, fine. I hereby christen you level four as of this moment. Mm, I feel all tingly. Now focus. We're gonna do this trick. And we're gonna do it by science. Okay. And presto, just like that, Eric's bad report card disappeared. I needed this guy like for a friend Andre. when I was in second I grade. I him away, but that was way cooler. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Prepare to be dazzled by the magic of science. Oh. What do you think you're doing? This cannot oh, go well. Just proving that any idiot with half a brain can do that trick you pulled off yesterday. Wait, uh, are you calling yourself an idiot, Neil? Shut up, space kid! You're trying to prove a point! Yeah, okay. You see, fellow campers, Harrison has been lying to you. <gasps> he would have you believe that things like magic really do exist. But we know that's not true. Magic goes against the very laws of nature. Everything can be explained by science, even his tricks. Okay. So, to prove him wrong, I am going to recreate his magic trick. Oh. Neil, don't do this. You're not properly trained in the ways of magic. You shut your whore mouth, Harrison. Someone has to keep order in this chaotic, <gasps> uncertain world, and it's gonna be me. Neil, are you sure about this? I believe in the science, Nikki. That's all the certainty I need. In order to begin the trick, I would ask my assistant to please open her mouth. You got it, boss. You're way too now, trusting, Nikki. Look and be amazed as I reveal the truth using my scientific equation, which shows there is only one way something like this is physically possible. I don't think there's any way that's physically possible. Oh my god, how things have gone too far! <laughs> what are you doing? You made me lose this Harrison! Somebody stop him! It's too late! His mind has been freaked too hard! <laughs> Why don't we just put a happy little tree right here? Are they watching boondocks? They are on a This is so relaxing. I feel like we were supposed to be doing something. Remember if you're paying along with us at home? Yeah. Yeah. Neil, this is 
Yeah, tell the truth. Where? Yeah, they're going to kill her. The only thing I'm killing is your hocus pocus bullshit, Harrison. Here comes the rabbit, Mickey. Well, how do you feel? Hmm. To be honest, I feel pretty good. Oh. Yep. What do we do? What do we do? I can't do the Heimlich. I'm not certified. I can help her. I know a spell. To no, no magic. We go to save her with science. We need to figure out how. There's no time. Uh, we she'll have be to dead by spell. then. But it is powered by belief, Neil. It's like a spirit bomb. Neil, you must believe. Yeah, Neil. Believe in the magic. Believe her, I punch you. <laughs> like nerf. Max can't I help you with this said. one. <laughs> Neil, just believe. Fine, yes, I believe. I believe in magic. Just do it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest trick of all. Getting a cynical, right. close-minded asshole to believe in magic. They did set him what? up. Okay, I... <laughs> but how? How are you okay, Mickey? I keep telling you, Neil. It's magic, silly. <laughs> Fuck you, Harrison. <laughs> I ain't never been one for games. I'm like a pin to the paper watching Corbin Flames. Got a stick like a Daisy Force. Now that... That, ladies and gentlemen, is the kind of trolling that I approve of. That was, that was horribly mean, but that was also pretty awesome. <sighs> I get aggravated with people that can't admit the possibility that they might be wrong. Ever. So, this episode kind of got me, um, kind of got to me in a very satisfying way of seeing that get turned against someone. I don't know if uh, Neil is going to be a little bit more open-minded now, but I know that he did get thoroughly owned in that. I, I kind of, a little part of me wondered uh, if he wasn't getting set up when Nikki said that throughout there, oh yeah, and he said that anyone could do this if they're just smart enough. Because it seems like that comment was like just specifically engineered to get under his skin. And I'm like, oh boy, it's going to escalate from here. Um, well, I'm lucky Nikki didn't die. Um, that would have been a shame. Though with some of the stuff that happens on this show, if um, none of the characters have died yet, um... It goes to show how resilient the people of this universe are. Um, are they sure the people of Camp Camp don't have some kind of aura protecting them? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go along to episode 11. I will see you in that video.